Well, hey there, friends and neighbors. This is Ren. I'm going to take you through a video tutorial of Beginner's Guide to RPG Maker VX Ace. And what we're going to do is just basically go following the guide that Killspark created in July of 2012. Um, basically, it's a quick introduction of how to get into uh, designing games for RPG Maker VX Ace. Um, and what Kelspar did was he made a guide that walks you through how to uh, set up a small, simple game, but it introduces you to several key features of RPG Maker VX Ace, uh, including map design, um, eventing, um, database management, and uh, story, and it's a pretty good guide. Um, I enjoyed it. I read through the entire thing. Um, and the first thing it does is the guy. Oh, uh, before I go any farther, I'm going to put the link to the guide into my description text of the video here, so you can download the guide, which also includes the completed game that Kelspar created for the guide. Um, I'm going to make my maps and everything just a slightly different, uh, just so I can uh, be a little spontaneous a bit during the video. But uh, the first few pages of the guide tells you about the uh, the guide. It has an index to all the different uh, sections of the guide, and then it lets you have an introduction about what I just basically set, went over already. It's a step-by-step -step guide about how to make a, a, a game called Ring of Uderai, and it gives a quick synopsis of the plot. It gives you some locations they're going to put in the game, um, including the village of East Haven, a uh, desert city of Terran. A lost woods, a damp cave, and a demon stronghold. Um, it goes over some of the quests and subquests. It goes over the items we're going to have in the game, and then it tells you to start up um, RPG Maker, VX Ace, and go to your file, click on New Project, and to name your project whatever you want. Uh, in this case, I have already some um, projects going, so I'm going to name mine uh, Beginner Tutorial. So New Project. And you'll see a folder name and a game name here. And whatever you type in here, it's going to change the name over here in game title. So you could actually have uh, a folder and several different game names, but it's usually best to keep them the same so you can keep, keep track of everything. So, beginner guide. Beginner guide. And we'll start that here. And what you'll see is the. Uh, the project open up. It's going to have the main window here, which is where you can actually do things. On the left side is going to be um, like a toolbar that has your different tools that you can use. Um, and the first thing it wants you to do when you s on the guide here is once you create your project, you're going to want to right click where it says map 001 and go to properties. And it since this is going to be the world map, we're going to name it World Map. And display name, what that does is, um, once you enter an exit, uh, when you enter a map, it's going to have a small um, text title over on the top left of the screen. It's going to tell you what map you're in if you type something in here. So we're going to put this also as World Map. Oops. Map. And the guide also wants you to make sure that these are down to 17 and 13. And that uh, tile set uh, 001 field is selected. There is multiple different um, tile sets. Uh, we'll go over that here in a minute. But right now we just need to make sure field is on. And we're going to click OK. And the guide then wants us to go ahead and start making a map here. Um, we're going to use a pencil tool which is right here on the uh, bar. It's this button right here. And it wants us to make sure that we go to the map editing um, selection over here, which is this button here. And then we're going to go to um, take a look at our tile set. Um, what's pretty cool is the uh, the basic map tiles that you get with the game are pretty uh, pretty good. 
Um, they've got deep water, shallow water, um, all kinds of different grass trees. It's a pretty good uh, starting set. And what we're going to do is we're going to put some deep water around the edges here so it looks it look like there's actual deep deep ocean all, all around this little island that we're going to make. And some more here. And a little bit right there even. Like that. That looks good. And then we need a lot of green grass, I think, I remember. We need a little upside down L looking shape here. Another shape here. We'll do those real quick here. Put the grass tool right here. Actually, I like this one better. Like that, because it has a little beach out there. shape one thing down from here. Let's see, is that all we need? Yep, looks like it. Then it connects with a little slight little bridge thing here. Actually, let's go back in. Um, control Z, that's going to be very handy for you. Uh, I don't know if it's on the guide here or not, but if you just want to back up something you did, like back off of it and try again. You can just hit Control Z and it just goes away. Um, it looks like I need to put some more shallow water right here. Right there. More grass like that. Let's see. Kind of stair steps down toward our little island here. Like that. Then it curves around. And then it goes this way. Kind of like a beach here. Has a little divot, looks like. Go up. Kind of like that. Comes out with some trees over here. Back around for some mountains. Gosh, let's look at that here. Get rid of this. And just like that. Alright. So we put all that grass in there. And then it, we're supposed to put some sand here for the desert town. Um, so let's stick some desert here. So once you got the basic, oh, do I got, no, I need a letter, is that all I needed for the land? Yeah, basically, okay. So, once you get the basic land down, uh, there's several things you can do here on the, the top map here, on the tab A, to kind of give it a little bit of a uh, character, and the best things are these little uh, decorations right here on the corner, which lets you... Um, give the uh, map some character. We're uh, supposed to put some trees here, down here. And those are nice, like that. Uh, what else? Trees up on the top here. Where our, map, our lost forest is going to be here in a minute. That. Let's see. Some more trees here. And what's neat is with uh, the default house in here, if I click once, it's going to make one tree. If I drag it around, it's going to make several trees, which is pretty cool. Another tree there. Some palm trees here in the corner. Like that. I think there's whatever. Let's see. Yeah, basically. Alright, some rocks. Right here. And we're 
also going to put in some mountains. So then, the uh, tab B here has even more decorations, and these can actually go on top of the other um, things you already have set up. So if you wanted to put like a cave here, stick that like that, maybe a little road toward it. We need that we need our village of East Haven, which I think Kelspar used uh, this one right here, like that. Basically, cut up one of the uh, larger c cities into one little block. Um, he also used a two-block city for the desert town, it's right there on the edge of the coast here. He has a cave here for the. Uh, Damp cave, which I think he used just a simple uh, like building. Yeah, this one here. So we'll replace that with this. It looks a little better. Uh, for the Demon King, he stuck this around here on the island like that. And for the Lost Forest, he stuck a little tree here in the middle of the forest. Well, that's the first part of our tutorial, because the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the Village of East Haven, make that map, and give it a, a few um, neat little inns and shops and decorations as well. So join me next time on the uh, part two of the guide, and we'll do that. Alright, thanks.